currently facing a little bit of a dilemma because I leave for Vegas in five days and I leave for Hong Kong in two weeks, which means I've got a ton of work to do, but it's Masters Saturday and all I wanna do is sit around and watch golf. Time to get down to work. To do it, uh, but the attitude is. Uh... So, without a doubt, one of the most common questions I get is, "What kind of gear am I using to shoot my vlog?" I'm one of those guys that I I just like gear. I love new toys. I kind of geek out over that stuff. But the setup that I use for my vlog, for the most part, is actually really simple. So, without a doubt, the one thing everybody wants to know the most is, is what camera do you shoot with? So like most of the other big vloggers out there, I've got a Canon G7X. This is the G7X right here. You got the flip out screen, which is great. You've got a little more beefy controls. You've got some exposure dials here, which is really nice. Um, and yeah, it's, it's definitely a little bit thicker. Depending on whether you can handle bulky pockets or not, it's definitely something you can kind of keep with you. I would give it a A minus. Uh, as far as point and shoot cameras go, the quality is awesome. It's got a big one inch sensor, so it allows more light in. It gives you a, a sharper video quality than a lot of the stuff you see out there. I notice a dramatic difference between my iPhone 6 and my G7X when I'm using that for video. A couple of the cons, a couple of the things I don't like about it are it's bigger than the S110 or S120, uh, which was great because I could fit that in my pocket. Uh, the other thing is that while it finds um, and autofocuses pretty quickly, um, it's still, you know, not the best. Occasionally you'll be able to see it kind of focusing in and out and in and out as it kind of tries to track on the face. So there's definitely been times where I've been doing something and I've had it in autofocus and it's just, it's a little too noticeable and I've had to reshoot things. So if you want to get into vlogging or you're looking for a high-end vlog camera, the G7X I honestly think is probably the best camera on the market. For secondary shooting, I use a Canon S110. So this is quite a bit smaller than the G7X. Uh, the video quality and the, the photo quality isn't quite as good, but what I love about it is it can fit in a pocket easily. It's a great kind of introductory vlogging camera. The video quality for the most part is pretty good. The photo quality is all right, it'll pass. Um, but if you want something you can fit in your pocket and is a little bit less expensive than the G7X that I use, this is a great camera. So whenever I do these kind of like studio setups, I've got a cheap light kit that I bought off uh, B&H for I don't know, it was like 200 bucks for something like that for three lights. Uh, but for audio, I will actually use a, uh, a shotgun mic here. This is the Audio-Technica AT-875R. It mic's about 150 bucks, and I'm actually using it right now. Uh, so we'll see how this sounds. Uh, it's about 150 bucks, but I found for the price, the audio quality is dramatically better. Um, you know, I'll do a... Oh. I'll do a little switch. So this is the on-camera mic. This is what it sounds like, and this is kind of an echoey room. But when you get rid of the on-camera mic and you just use the shotgun mic, it sounds much better, clearly. For audio recording, I use a Zoom H4n recorder. It's actually recording right now. It's great because it's got XLR inputs. It's got onboard mic if I just want to do something in a hurry. And the sound quality is really, really good. Uh, it's about 200 bucks, but before, like back when I was in the Maldives and shooting videos there, I was actually, I brought my external sound card and plugged it into my computer. After 50 hours of travel, we finally made it to our resort at the Shangri-La in the Maldives. And you know what? I think this is it. In my opinion, this is the perfect office. So this just records to an SD card, makes things much easier. So I have two different options for tripods. The one that I usually use when I've got my DSLR and I'm actually taking a real tripod is a Benro A150. So this was the one you may remember a few videos back, it broke when I took it to Vail to go skiing. That's a little difficult with a broken tripod. Don't know if you can see that right there. Thank you, Southwest Air. I'm not sure what I do with my one now broken tripod leg. And I've yet to order a new one, but for, for the price for under a hundred bucks for a compact tripod that works great for like point and shoot cameras and a DSLR with a smaller lens, this is by far the best one I've used. I've pretty much used this same model since like 2010. When I'm just walking around and uh, I'm just kind of, you know, walking around town, I've got this little Joby, you know, mini Gorillapod thing, which is probably one size too small for the weight of the camera. 
but it tends to work well. So like, you know, I try not to be like doing the whole selfie thing where you can kind of see my arm sticking out and that kind of thing. This kind of allows you to just kind of stick it like right here, right in front of you. And uh, it works pretty well. It looks a little bit more natural and just makes it easy to, uh, you know, randomly set up somewhere if you need to shoot a time lapse shot or if you need to film yourself doing. It's just a nice thing to have. So I generally try and keep one of these on my camera. For editing, I'm a Mac guy. I use Final Cut Pro, or as I like to call it, iMovie Pro. With uh, Final Cut 10, it really is just like a glorified version of iMovie. So if you've used iMovie in the past, moving to Final Cut allows you to do way more stuff, but it still keeps it really simple. Uh, a lot of people use Adobe Premiere. That's kind of become the you know de facto professional uh, setup. Um, I haven't gotten into it. I kind of know how to use Final Cut, so I don't want to go through the whole learning curve of doing something else. So that's pretty much it. That's my setup. I've got the Canon G7X on my little Joby pod. Uh, when I'm doing uh, the setup, I've got a couple lights that uh, face at me, the Audio-Technica mic, and the, the Zoom recorder, and that's, that's pretty much it. I'm good to go. So you don't really need a whole lot in order to do this. And I've got more gear than probably the average person just because I've been collecting it over the last year or two after doing the desk video, which by the way, I haven't mentioned the desk. Have you watched it yet? What does your office look like? Gray walls, crappy coffee, casual Friday? Well, screw that. I'm here to tell you about this wondrous thing called the internet. It allows you to work 24 seven from anywhere you want. If you haven't, go watch The Desk. It's like the best thing I've ever done. Um, I think later on today, we're heading down to Eugene for my niece's birthday party, which is tomorrow. And other than that, as much as I really want to go sit down and watch the Masters, I got a lot of work to do. So I'm gonna go hit a coffee shop and I will see you guys tomorrow.